Maurizio Saracini picked up his UCSD bachelor's degree in bioengineering in 1973. And to this day, he attributes much of his success to the engineering faculty who taught him. They taught me to be curious, to be broad-minded, to look for answers uh, wherever I could find them. A top Renaissance scholar invited him to participate in the search for a Leonardo da Vinci mural not seen in 450 years. Saracini never looked back. He created Editech, one of the world's first consulting companies devoted exclusively to diagnostic imaging and analysis of art. It was unthinkable that an engineer could do that. Serracini went on to work with many of the world's top museums and art collectors who gave him access to some of their most valuable treasures. Da Vinci detective Maurizio Serracini has spent 30 years honing forensic techniques to delve beneath layers of paint and varnish and even through solid walls to unlock the centuries-old secrets of Leonardo's work. Invited back to his alma mater, Serracini spoke to bioengineering alumni in 2005, then to the UCSD Alumni Association a year later. His call to arms to create a training ground for engineers involved in art conservation didn't fall on deaf ears. The California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, in partnership with the Jacobs School of Engineering, and UCSD's Division of Arts and Humanities created a new Center of Interdisciplinary Science for Art, Architecture, and Archaeology. Chisa 3 launched in early 2007 with Saracini as director. And what we have done in uh, just about over a year is incredible. Saracini also launched a project with the San Diego Museum of Art and with the province of Florence to reconstruct digitally the history of the Palazzo Medici, the birthplace of the Renaissance. As for that long-lost da Vinci masterpiece that Serracini began to look for in the mid-1970s, the search is back on. Late last year, the Italian government put Serracini in charge of the search for Leonardo's The Battle of Anghiari. The project and Serracini were recently profiled on CBS's 60 Minutes and the UCSD alum was named a National Geographic Fellow. His greatest legacy, Saracini hopes, will come from training a new breed of engineer at UCSD to work in this interdisciplinary field. We'll create on one side solutions, technologies, methodologies, and the right scientists that can put all this together and really contribute to the conservation, preservation of our cultural heritage. For his pioneering role in technology for the conservation of art and historic structures, Maurizio Saracini, class of 73, is the recipient of the Jacobs School 2008 Outstanding Alumnus Award. <laughs>